Welcome back. Today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make a pinch pot. Here are two different pinch pots. This one is finished. It's been glazed and fired. You can see the inside and the pattern on the outside. And here's one that has not been fired. Um, it's been fired once but not glazed and it's called bisque fired. You can see it's got this reddish, orangish color. Um, but you can see it's got its patterns pushed into it and little pieces of clay added on for texture. And these are two different examples of pinch pots. Um, what we're gonna do before we go is here is your, ba your ball of clay. What you want to do is take your ball of clay and pat it in your hands so it is actually a ball of clay, not an oddly shaped lump. So just pat it back and forth in your hands so it's a nice round ball. Okay, and here are three, four different steps in the process. One, two, three, and then four down here. And this is what it looks like. First, we're going to take our thumb and we're going to push it into the ball of clay. Like that. Okay, and you want it to be, oh, I don't know, about uh, half an inch away from the bottom of the clay. Don't push your thumb all the way through. Just push it a little bit through, like that. And then you're going to take your thumb out and you'll be able to see the hole. And I'll show you that when we get to it. Then you're going to start pinching. And what you're going to do is you're going to pinch. Try to get your fingers as far down to the bottom as you can. And what you want to do is you almost want to imagine you're pulling the clay up and you're getting the wall to thin out. And what's going to happen is the cavity inside here is going to get bigger as you pinch the ball of clay all the way around. And as you're pinching, you're going to start turning it. Okay, so here's step two. Step three is you've pulled it and pinched it evenly all the way around and you've got a nice thin wall here you've got the bottom and you can kind of see this being a cross section you've got if we're looking at it from the top here's the top lip of the bowl and here's the inside where your thumb has been here's the outside where your fingers have been pinching and here's the bottom where you could set it down and it would stand up nicely and here's kind of the last stage um, you've got the full kind of even thing and what you want to be careful you don't do is you don't pinch too hard and squish it and have uneven spots or you don't pinch too hard on the top and have a thin lip you want to have a nice thick lip on the top so it's stable okay also you want to keep your pinch pot looking so that it's kind of roundish okay this one I would say eh, they kind of squished it sideways and they got like a flat side here and round over there our goal is going to be to have ours kind of round okay so here we go we're gonna start grab your ball of clay in your hand take your thumb and stick it in and that's step one okay so here's my ball of clay my thumb is in it if we opened it up and looked at it in a cross section it would look something like that okay now you're gonna start pinching don't pinch like this with your two fingers you're gonna pinch kind of using all four fingers pinching the clay gently in between here so that you've got it even. Notice how my fingers kind of curl all the way down to the bottom and then kind of as I go I'm rotating the clay in my hand. Okay and I'm pinching with my thumb and with my fingers. You can see this wet spot on my hand. That's where the clay is touching my hand. Okay and as you rotate you're gonna start to rotate higher and higher and higher so that you're squishing the clay evenly. You don't pinch really hard at first, you just pinch gently and try to evenly space out your pinching so that your pinch pot has even walls. Okay, if you need to, you can set it on the table and you can kind of pinch and turn as you go so that you can see inside of there and you can like make sure that you're not squishing it too much. Okay, so get it pinched out evenly so that you've got a nice even wall that's the side of the pinch pot and you've got a nice even lip that's the top of the pinch pot here okay so it should look something like this when you're done should have nice even walls a flat bottom and a nice inside cavity if you've got some places like right here and here where it's a little cracked you can use a little cup of water that you can have at your table. Just get one finger wet and kind of gently rub 
the surface. If your finger starts to get dry, get it a little bit wet. Don't use too much, too much water. If you use too much water, it's going to get sloppy and start falling apart. Just use one finger and kind of smooth over. Don't press too hard. Just gently smooth over any of those cracks on the rim or the lip. If you have some cracks on the side, you can use a little bit of water and kind of smooth those over as well. Okay, what you're going to do while you're working, I'm going to try to come around and write down for you um, on your piece of cardboard that you have at your table. I'm going to write down two things. I'm going to write down your initials. Let's say you're Bob Johnson. And then I'm going to write your grade one. And then I'm going to write your teacher's name. And I'm going to write your table name. So let's say teacher name. Just going to write down their, their initials there. And then I'm going to write your table. And I'm going to circle it. Okay, so it'll look something like this on the bottom of your pinch pot right here. Okay, once I have done that initials on the bottom, you're going to set it on top of your cardboard and we'll put it on the tray when we're done. And that's how you make the basic shape of a pinch pot for our pinch pot lesson.